what's up youtube it's just brandy and let's talk love and hip-hop miami the reunion part two so part two of the reunion um they had a lot of people to get to um because they didn't get to a lot of people in that first episode and this is just a two-part reunion um i kept seeing chinese kitty or what what is that her name i kept seeing her on the stage because she had that turquoise hair and she had on a purple outfit so she was like every time it would go by she would stand out because of the, the bright hair and then her clothes and i kept saying why the heck is she even there she's not a cast member like they haven't talked to her like why is she there like it was so it was so crazy but the episode started with the the fight between trina and trick daddy and i mean trina let trick have it she she talked about his face him being sick she said he ain't had a hit since the 90s every song they been on was only hot because she was on it everything he called her a bitch he called her a hoe he said he made her which trina was dating um trick's brother and that's how she became a rapper is because through that connection but I mean, she got is fed up. Like she went off. They had to take her off the stage. She went crazy. So, I mean, but the thing is, they like family. So in two months, they might be back cool making music again. So that's the situations like that is the ones where you got to be real careful about you know how how you react like if you're friends with one or the other you got to be real careful about how you react to that other person and what you say because they might be back cool again and then you know you look crazy so um that they wrap that part up um they did talk to prince and liz and bobby and tip um, they they ended up saying that you know they was cool um, you know everything is cool it ain't like it used to be Prince did say he missed the friendship with Bobby because they was really cool but he said uh, that Bobby when Bobby um, slapped him with the money at the club at Tips event I guess he slapped him with some ones that um, you know that was kind of like the line but I don't think that was the line I feel like the real line was Liz when you decided to get back with Liz and she admitted she said she told him I don't want you to be friends with Bobby so you made a choice you chose a bitch over your nigga like say what it is don't try to come up with another thing like say what it really is so um basically Bobby said he saw a lot of people using Prince as a come up like it was girls out here that was you know being opportunistic so they was trying to use him and he was like so you know what I'm saying like I just kept trying to let him know like that it's people using him and it was he was like the night that we got into it at the club it was the same thing like my nigga recognized that people is is not being genuine out here and you know it's some people like that they just get used up because they want to believe the hype like all somebody got to do is talk them up and because they want to believe it so bad you know they just eat that shit up so they also talked about his little music thing which is so crazy to me because it's so poppy like but poppy shampoo but but anyway so they asked him to sing a little something. He was like, I don't have my auto tune and all that. So uh, Baby Blue was like, my daddy would have slapped the shit out of you. Somebody tell you to sing, you better take your opportunity to sing. But see, he need all the magic. That means you ain't got no talent. You, you are produced out here in these streets. So that was that. Um, tip tip kind of went off on um, Liz. Uh, they talked to Jojo and um, Amara about the whole root situation. Bobby apologized. Um, Amara says she's not in Santa Maria or none of them other voodoo things or whatever. And that she's she's not into that. But if she was, she would have no problem saying that she was. But, you know, she says she didn't put no roots on her. Whatever, whatever. Um... They asked Bobby if he had any regrets. And he said he had a lot of regrets. <laughs> oh, they did also at the very end talk to Jesse Wu. And um, that was why they brought Chinese Kitty. Was to talk about the whole rape situation. 
or whatever and um you know which was a serious thing and you know so they ended it kind of on a, a serious note then they showed a little montage of clips but I was just glad to get this reunion over they had way too many cast members um they asked Veronica Vega if she could ever forgive Jojo and they could be friends again she said no but in a vulgar way but basically she said no and then um Hollywood the little producer said he want to take Shay on the date <laughs> And I hope she say no because at the end of the day, I'm so tired of them recycling people and just dating in the same little small circle. Like, she done dated Pleasure. She done dated Scrappy. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, find a new girl that's not affiliated with the show to date. Like, ugh. I just don't understand. So that's my review of part two of this uh reunion and uh, that's it for love and hip-hop miami so later